Hi, I'm Simon from Warm Glass UK. All SE2s come with the Century Express programmer. In this video, I'm going to show you an overview of the programmer and show you how to program a schedule into the SE2. So the Paragon SE2 comes with the Century Express controller. And it's a simple controller that's got five speed settings in it and four eight segment programs in it. The speed settings, I'm not going to dwell on, but they're basically used for firing jewellery, precious metal clay, or for enamelling. So for the speed settings, you press the stop start button and you'll see speed. If you don't see speed at this point, if you press the up button, you will eventually get to speed because the up button takes you round through all the programs and all the speeds. So I'll just show you how that works. So speed one, speed two, speed three, speed four, speed five, and then program one, program two, program three, program four, and then we're back to speed one again. So speed one, what's this about? Speed one is going to go up at 111 degrees per hour. It's going to hit a top temperature and it's going to hold that top temperature for a certain amount of time. Now speed one has got 600 degrees programmed into it. So 111 degrees per hour is going to go up to 600 and then it's going to hold for three minutes. Okay, you can adjust that three minutes, you can adjust the 600, but you can't adjust the speed. So those are set preset speed settings. And when you finish putting the settings in, you can press start and the kiln goes on. It will go up at 111 degrees per hour to 600 degrees, hold for three minutes, switch itself off. So the same is true of the other speed settings. So if I press the stop start button, we will see speed one is 111 degrees. Speed two is gonna go up at 278. Speed three is gonna go up at 555. Now I use this for jewelry if I'm doing a very simple one segment jewelry program. Speed four is gonna go up at 833. So pretty much in an hour, it's gonna go up to a full fuse temperature and speed five is gonna go up at, uh, at full. So those are the speed settings. They're single segment settings, really just for jewelry or if you're using precious metal clay or something, then the speed settings are good for you. Now, what I want to concentrate really on is the programs because they're more difficult to put in. I'm gonna use the programs which are a download from the website. They have four different types of programs in there, but I'm going to program in the basic full fuse. Now, the basic full fuse is the same for all kilns, and I'm going to show you how to put that in. Now, the basic full fuse is set out in segments. Each segment has got three parts. So. The first part of the first segment is ramp one. And if you look on the download, you will see that ramp one says 222. So in that first segment, ramp one, you want to put in 222. Press the stop start button and you'll see temperature one, which is 677. And then press the stop start button and you'll see hold one, which is 30 minutes. So that's segment one done. And what we've got to do is program in the other segments. So ramp two is three, 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 three. Temperature two is going to be 804. And hold two is going to be 10 minutes. So that's up at the, at the process temperature. It's going to hold for 10 minutes. Then the next segment is coming down. And we want to come down fast. So we're going to come down at 999 or full on this kiln. We're gonna come down to 482, which is the annealing temperature for bullseye glass. And then we're gonna put a hold time in there of one hour. Now, depending on how thick your piece is in, you might want to change the annealing time. Then finally, it's a good idea to just drop the temperature from, an, from the anneal slowly. So we suggest that you come down at 83, to 3.71 and I like to put a one minute hold in there at the end just to, so that I know that it's the end of the program. Next time you press the stop start button it will say ramp five but if you press it again it just goes to start. So those are the four segments to the basic full fuse set into the kiln. You can change those or you can put different kiln programs into it using exactly the same method. 
All the information is auto-saved in the programmer, so all you have to do is press start. There's more information on the website at warmglass.co.uk. Thanks for watching.